Now, let's start at the beginning, shall we? How did you end up inside the reliquary? You said it was nearly 25 years ago. You said you were part of your father's archaeological... You're making project. it sound as if I was involved. I wasn't. I was... I was furniture. Furniture? Set dressing to show status, to show my man was a, a man of substance and responsibility to those on the expedition. My, my mother, she passed some years earlier, the consumption. And he couldn't very well attend banquets and balls without female accompaniment, could he? I wouldn't know about those things. It was boring. I, I was bored. I craved something of the excitement that our history books had promised, but all I saw were our quarters and the occasional sojourn to the Bedouin market for supplies. I wanted more. Presumably you found it. Yes. I was fool enough to listen to the stories, the secret catacombs beneath the necropolis. The navigator's son claimed to have an old map. We thought it would be an adventure. Something of our own to take back to civilization, but we trusted in the wrong guides. We thought they were our friends, but they saw us as nothing more than thieves plundering their ancestors' graves. What happened? Under the cover of the Hour of the Wolf, they led us through the catacombs and deep into a cavernous hall. I had seen nothing like it in either description, illustration, or photograph. They were true to their word. This was a discovery. But one we would never share with the world. The flesh of steel, the screams of murder. I, they slaughtered the males in our group and bound the rest of us together with rope and manacles. They planned to sacrifice us to banish their thieves from their cities and treasures. I begged them not to murder us. We'd do anything for our lives. Their leader decided to delay our demise. Perhaps he wanted to enjoy us. In a moment of demented inspiration, he, he entombed us in the reliquaries of the ancient, promising to return the following night. The fools had no idea what they'd done. The blood sacrifice and the rituals they had performed had awakened something in the dark. I heard their screams, their bodies dismembered and devoured, the sound of nightmarish ghouls, of, of ancient beasts long forgotten. I remember the blood smothering my coffin. I, I remember the blood drenching my lips.